Today I'd like to talk about the Accurite weather station. We had one previously and loved it. One of the issues that we had is that the transmitter, the, the weather station device just quit transmitting. And between uh, battery swaps and channel swaps, full resets, full repairings, all those things, it just wouldn't work. And I wanted to get a new one because for me, it's really important to have the ability to know what's going on with the weather where we are. Because storms can just pop up. And it's good for us to know what our trend is because the closest big cities to us uh, are not that close. And it's nice to just know what's going on around where we are specifically. And I went searching I went down the Google and Amazon rabbit hole of trying to find a good home weather station. And I finally found one that I really liked. It was from Accurite. We've had their weather uh, alert radios, which uh, haven't had such good luck with lately, but in the past they've been really, really good. And Accurite was the same brand as our old weather station. The new one is also Accurite. And it just has the best user interface and uh, technology solution for the price that we're looking at because we can get some others that are definitely a lot higher quality but they the price goes up a lot because you go from professional prosumer to corporate professional and it is a massive increase the one that we decided to get I'll picture here a few of the images of it it has a LCD screen with buttons it's not a touch screen and then it comes with a outside unit, one, it comes with two outside units. One is a lightning detector that's a 25 mile range, has an audible alarm on it. And then there is also a unit that goes up at a high point somewhere that has wind, wind speed direction, a rain gauge, uh, humidity and temperature for outside. And the, the unit that sits inside also gives you indoor temperature and humidity. The unit that we picked, I believe it was just under $200. And I'll show that again, some different pictures of it here. But the reason I wanted it is it gives us a chance to be on top of what's going on because we can see weather trends for where we are we can uh, be alerted to lightning so we can go ahead and head back inside if, if something's going on. Even though we might not see it, but we might be able to barely hear thunder, this system should be able to pick up that lightning from very far away. And it lets us be able to see highs and lows, keep track of rain. And uh, if you are somewhere that's you know off grid or in the country, this is another, this is just one of those things. It's just more information is just helpful. And it'll let you know all those things I've listed and it'll combine them. So you know kind of how to plan your day and you can kind of watch what's going on because the, the news might say, and yesterday was a perfect example. It, it said that we were gonna have uh, 80s. It was gonna get to, you know, um, low 90s and then it would kind of taper off. What we had yesterday, where we are here, as it did, it started in the upper 70s, went up to the 80s, 90s, and then the heat index yesterday got up to 111. And if we had been looking at our, well, I don't have my Apple Watch on now, but if we had been looking at our Apple Watch or our phones or something, the weather would have said that it was you know, 90, but the heat index was 111, specifically where we were. And that's just not what you want kids running around in right now. and. It was helpful for me because I could know, I could just come inside, stop doing the work I was doing outside, take a break, could check on the weather station in a little bit, and I noticed that the wind had picked up and the temperature had actually dropped back down to about 88. The, the feels like it dropped down to 88. And that was good. That way I could just go out and keep working. And <clears throat> when we're at this time of year, where most of us have been used to spring temperatures and we're starting to get into those triple digit uh, heat indexes with the temperatures actually being in the low 90s and the humidity is just so strong that the humidity makes it feel like it's triple digits, 112 in some cases. Your body's not acclimatized to the atom that in, uh, 
that type of weather. And it's important to be able to keep track of that because if you're not watching how much water you're drinking or uh, electrolytes or, or just water or how much you're working and sweating or not sweating and you stay in that temperature range, it could really take you down hard. And uh, it can really hurt you the older you get or if you're really young, that can be very detrimental for your health long term. And this way we could, I could go in, I could look, temperature, see what it said, change my working pattern for yesterday and then get back out and work again. <clears throat> and it's just, it's very uh, helpful to have that information. Thank you for watching. And I think everyone needs, if you are away from a major city, you need some kind of weather information device at your house more than just the temperature. You need to know wind and wind chill and all that kind of stuff. And I, I think Accurite has some uh, good products. You need to do your research, make sure you get the right setup. And there are some other great ones on Amazon too. Thank you for watching.